Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Hope you had a nice Monday. It rained just about all day here in Georgia, but it's okay. We get down like that sometimes, and we're in the dirty south. We need that rain. Okay, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to me. Make sure you tell friends about me. Let's grow, 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 grow. Share my videos and like my videos, okay? All right. Somebody need to alert the court, okay? And I'm not talking about the state of Georgia's superior court. No, no, no. Go find Mama D. Go find the queen, okay? And tell her somebody is running a muck in the castle and she need to come back home. Tell her to get her behind from, excuse me, from Love and Hip Hop in Atlanta. Come on back because our source, which is Celebrity Insider, has just broke out a story on a mole. Yes, she has defected. She has went to another Real Housewives of Potomac area. She out there yonder. She said she can't make it. She can't make it. Nene has got to go. This is what she's telling everybody. And everybody know the only two people that going to succeed her, which is the queen, Nene Leakes. Okay, because she's the reigning queen. She's the self-proclaimed self -proclaimed queen. And nobody else had garnered that. So we're going to give it to her. But anybody who would succeed Nene, I would think it would be Candy Burst or Portia Williams. Oh, yes, I would. Oh, yes, I would. Okay, shaking and baking and all that Aiken, all right, those two successors, not Kenya Moore, not Twirl, not Twirl, not Twirl, not Twirl, Twirl done went all the way down now to the Potomac, she done defected, y'all, she done went AWOL, she done went over there with Giselle, Bryant, and Robin, okay, where's Karen, where's Karen, where's Karen, <sighs> just because Nene had time, to spare, to go to another kingdom and square off or just have little, just tease, okay, tease and crumpets with Karen Huger, you know, Nene, I first saw her hooking up with the platonic women down there, but she didn't go hook up with everybody, she said, let me just go hook up with the other grand dom, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, a platonic, because I'm here for Atlanta Housewives, she's there for Potomac Housewives, okay, we make a good match, we have our own separate kingdoms, but Mama D is the real OG that hits these Atlanta streets, okay? So, in a sense, Nene has to bow down, if you want to call it that, to Mama D. <laughs> okay? So, we need Mama D to come on back in, settle this disputement, and either let Kenya float on, test the waters out there, stay on Potomac, and then Giselle will have to probably defend. But she can't come over here because we still got this position open for Phaedra Paul. Yeah, we do. We still do. We're working on candy. Yes, we're breaking her down bit by bit, day by day. They say, let bygones be bygones. Bring Phaedra back. Because then if we brought Phaedra back, we can get into some real chocolate attack and have Phaedra go after Giselle. Since it was rumored. Now, like I said, I don't know when I speak this stuff. I'm just giving y'all my opinion on what I hear, just like what y'all hear. I just choose to bring it on my platform, okay? No hurt intended. All of it's just entertainment, okay? Uh, why people can't just understand that? They just want to talk, talk, talk. You don't know this person. You don't know that person. Well, guess what? You don't know them either. And they don't know neither one of us from a can of paint, okay? Check that. Dig it, okay? But anyway, yes, I saw this picture of these three women. And I'm like, okay, which one don't belong? Two platonic, one Atlanta housewives. What the hell is she doing, okay? I smell a rat. I smell a mole. And it has Kenyan name all written over it. Okay, I'm like, girl, girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? Okay? This is what I'm talking about, the silliness. And then you want to poke fun here and there and talk about your ruler, okay, which is Nene Leakes at the time, okay? Why must you go behind her back? Why must you talk about her? Why, 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 why? Just because we let Nene talk about you and the rest of the people, at least they know how to get back at it, you know what I'm saying? 
twirl. I don't know if you have gotten like off key, off your base, but we really need you to spin it right back over here before you do leave your space here in Georgia. Because, yep, everybody can be replaced. It's like Beyonce says, you're irreplaceable. Don't think you're irreplaceable. Yes. Okay. Everybody's replaceable. Everybody has their turn to shine. And right now, the light is shining on Nini, Nini, Nini. And then we have Candy, Candy, Candy. Then we have Porsche, Porsche, Porsche. Okay. Um, Cynthia, we're going to let her hubby take care of her. <laughs> Unless it's a play play hubby. Just like Kenya had a play play um, let's see, husband, boyfriend, and I can go on and on and on. Now, again, I'm saying this because I'm just poking fun. I really could care less about what these women are doing, but since it's entertainment and it's uh, something that I really like doing from time to time on my channel, then I must play with them as well, okay? But it's all fun and games. I don't know them. They don't know me. I wish them nothing but success, okay? And they're going to keep continuing being successful with people like me putting their names out of my mouth to keep on making them relevant just like the bigger bloggers do and they get paid majorly okay and uh, my little numbers my little space child please i'm trying to grow my channel but like i said when somebody's doing something good out there and they're showing their sales to be good wholesome and already all that good i uh, i uplift them but the ones that sit there and want to just sit there and tear people down and just in the third and they say it's all in fun it's all in entertainment wise then pretty much i'm doing the same man i'm not a hypocrite just saying call them spade what's a spade okay they're in the form of entertainment i'm in the form of entertainment if they, if we drive their numbers by watching their shows, buying their products, then it's all a win-win-win. You know what I'm saying? At least that's what I believe. Okay? But anyway, let's deal with this issue. You've heard my spiel on what I felt about it when I saw this particular picture go across my media feed. I'm like, what is going on? Kenya belongs at Real Housewives of Atlanta. Why is she down there at Platonic? making fun with the Potomac women that have their own show because I tell you if we had to have battle against and that's what I would like to see let's have battles against the real housewives of Atlanta from all of the household name brands from each states compete against each other and see who is the real housewife show you know what I'm saying that, that's that would be made that would be made so I'm throwing out hits for the network hook it up okay battle of the housewives Okay, where are the contenders at? Okay, repping their own state. All right, that's what I want to say. That would be very intriguing. Okay, now you know, August 26, uh, 2019 at 10.05 p.m., I put that idea out there. So if it ever comes back, I want my residuals, I want my money, I want my paycheck, I want it for the brilliant idea. Okay, staple, staple, delivered. Okay, you hear me, Andy Cohen, you hear me, True Entertainment, yes. Hook me up. Okay, or I could be one of your writers. You know, I could give a, a nice little spin on it. But anyway, all of that. Let's get into the who said what, what he, I, ooh, let me rewind. Let me rewind. Okay, let's get into the who, when, where, and how. That's what I meant to say. Woohoo. All right. I'm going to have to take a nap nap after this. All righty. But anyway, like I said, y'all heard how I felt about it when I saw the picture. And it's a very beautiful picture. All the women on Real Housewives of any platform, Potomac, New Jersey, Beverly Hills, Atlanta Housewives. If I'm missing anybody, Orange County, please forgive me. All of the women are fantastic. They are extraordinary. <clears throat> they are entrepreneurs. They are doing the darn thing out here. So don't, please do not. I hate these women, and I'm just trying to clout chase or oh, all this. It's not about that. It's just sharing my opinion on my platform, and y'all just happen to like it for the ones that do. And I must be doing something good and hitting some nerves and telling the real truth if you're coming at me sideways, okay? Because I've always said this is just my opinion, what I see, and I'm just hitting it on a platform, okay? It's just coffee table banter, people. 
don't take it so serious. Okay, like you have one, you don't want to put it on TV or you don't want to speak it out in public, but you scared somebody going, I rah, 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 can't fight you about it. That's your that's your opinion. That's just how you get down, and I accept it full fully. <clears throat> but let's get into what my guy Ron Collins is talking about over at the Celebrity Insider when he hooked up this story. Yes, he did the back work, he did the story, he broke it out. So Pretty much, he's saying from his sources, this is something true, okay? I'm just giving it to you in case you missed it, in case you're not following Celebrity Insider for the entertainment gossip news. Get into it, but I'm just bringing it back to you with my little spin on it, okay? The article reads, Kenya Moore links up with Giselle Bryant. Some would like the blonde beauty to replace NeNe Leakes on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Girl, no. <laughs> In my opinion, no. Stay on over there at Platoma. Get your groove on. Do whatever you have to do down there with Carolyn Huger, the grand dom. We already got Kenya Moore up him defecting. Okay, because we might have to rethink that idea. Brush her off and bring a uh, phaser back. <clears throat> if only we can get Candy to act right. But okay. Uh, Kenya is a very formidable player. I like her. She has her little things here and there that make me chuckle. Okay, but she's just doing things a little bit too fast. She just got back on. And now she's she trying to stir the pot, okay? Stir the pot and try to mix and match housewives to do it. Okay, Kenya, that's a bit much. We see through it. We want you to try something else because I know you have more in your bag of tricks than what you're trying to trick on us and trick out now. Okay? What you're showing me now. That's amateurish. Get with it, girl. We bring you back for this kind of stuff. We could have thought of that ourselves. All right? Get with it, Kenya. Don't make us feel sorry that half of us wanted you to come back. Me included. But I also want to bring Phaedra back, too. I think she's an intricate piece, a part of the puzzle. Okay? But that's just my thoughts. Let's get back to the article. Shall we? Okay, it goes to say, Kenya Moore shared a photo featuring Giselle Bryant, and people are here for it. Fans are praising both ladies, and some of them say that Giselle should replace Nene Leakes on the Real Housewives series. Now, you see how that go? Do you see how that go? But you don't see people over there at Celebrity Insiders in the drop-down box. Just because we say freedom of speech don't mean tear somebody down, girl. Give some accolades here and there, all right? Give some accolades here and there, all right? Or they might do that over there. They just delete the comments, I guess. I'm just saying. I don't know. I'm just speaking my mind. Okay, going back to the article, it says, Dollface said Giselle Bryant and me at ubiquitous expo with every hue beauty and kenya moore hair bosses are h-r-o-p r-h-o-a a follower posted okay dropping all them acronyms okay and hashtags Woo -wee. when did we become a world of hashtag this hashtag that Ugh. okay but anyway they show two uh they show a picture of both giselle bryant and kenya moore beautiful women beautiful Go to um, Celebrity Insider if you want to catch the pics. If I can find it, I would definitely uh, put it in the description, not description box, but in my visual video. Okay, y'all know I like doing that. Okay, and then we go back to the article. We have a follower says, or a commenter says, um, can we trade Nene for Giselle? Laugh out loud. And someone else responded, no, we need Giselle to stay in the DMV. And I'm like, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Where is Mama D? Okay, we need to have our court jester, all our major players in the courthouse, I mean, in the court scene, in our castle. Uh, we need them to come, and we need to get Kenya. Either we're going to behead her, either we're going to throw her in the uh, lion's den, or whatever. I'm not sure what we need to do with her, but something needs to be done immediately. Okay, expeditiously. Okay. We need somebody to answer these questions. And the only person that can do that is Kenya Moore. We need her. We need her. Okay. Where's Mama D? Please get her on the phone. Please get on the landline. Okay. The, the Kenya has run amok. He has left the palace without even telling us a hit of where she was going. Now we don't find out from the paparazzi. Some of our sources have filmed her, caught her on camera, and they sent us back the results. The duplication is this. We see them. 
Okay, we see her phone. She's never going anywhere without that doggone phone. Okay, we see the other two women from Potomac. Okay, case closed. We need some answers. Okay, but going back, I'm with that commentator or that um, follower that posts on Celebrity Insider. They said, uh uh, we don't want them. No, we don't want them. We no, mm -mm. no, yeah, they, they doggone right. We got too many women. In the Real Housewives of Atlanta that are powerful, more um, show-stopping, and putting down, hands down, making money hand over fist, okay? We even got Cynthia Bailey out there, you know, sporting all her stuff and trying to get ready for a, a, a wedding, which we all think, you know, from meeting with uh, everybody in the official court, that she should wait and, and not uh, <laughs> do this thing. But we're in talks. We're in talks. Uh, she's definitely listening. She's listening. Maybe she would change her mind and just wait it out a little longer. Okay. We know she's not getting any younger, but she ain't trying to handle no babies either. So as long as she continue to keep her wine cellar going and all her other adventures with her luggage wear, her eyewear, she will be fine. Okay. But like I said, that's uh, top secret information. I just wanted y'all to be known, that y'all know about it. We're addressing the situation. We see here and we're uh, like eyes. We got eyes everywhere, okay? We we notice everything, but we, we just need to just play it on the download for a while and we're going to see what comes out. If she get married, that means we don't do our, we don't need our due diligence. We don't told her what we felt, but uh, hey, we got to throw caution to the wind sometime. And if she comes back, she already know. Um, we can't have it anymore. We, we just can't have any more antics from her or we're going to have to let her go. That's pretty much that's pretty much what they had said in the council. And I'm just a little tipster, uh, the informer here, telling y'all on the speed on the download. So don't go back and tell them, okay, that I said something. All right, moving on. We have the other commenter posted, two beauties, especially Kenya. Be careful of Giselle. Although beautiful, she's very envious. Of many who have what she doesn't. Okay. All right. Kenya. Let's see what Kenya has. Okay. <laughs> so, um, okay. Not being funny or anything. The woman's very educated. She's very well rounded. She's an entrepreneur. She has many platforms. She has definitely excelled in, but yet she gets greedy sometimes and she oversteps her boundaries and her place and position that we have her in. So, yes. Okay. Yeah, we're monitoring that situation as well. We are definitely uh, putting people out there, uh, collecting notes, deciphering through things, and we're going to have to put that on a pause as well. But that's a good point. A good point. You're right. Uh, she, go, let me see, Giselle don't have a husband, okay, okay, and, and I think she wants one. Kenya has a husband, all right, okay, 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 um, uh, Kenya husband is very successful. He has his own restaurant and probably many other ventures uh, we don't know about collectively. And they are a little powerhouse. Okay, okay, okay. Giselle has nobody. Okay. Well, she probably has somebody, but not as connected as Kenya. And right now, Kenya is flourishing. She has a husband. She has a daughter, meaning a baby. Um, she has a career. Um, yeah, that could be looking kind of shady. But we're going to say Kenya can handle her own. We bred her real well. So if she missed that boat, if she missed that uh, little opportunity of searching her friends from head to toe, rechecking them, okay, from foot to head to head to foot, then th we're going to let her play that. Cause we don't get into marriages. We don't get into cat fighting unless it's women, well, a woman on a woman, and it ain't got nothing to do with their family or children connection, okay? So we're going to have to lean to understand it, that Kenya's knowing what she's doing when she's hooking up with other people, okay? Outside of Real Housewives of Atlanta. We can only handle what's going on in our circle. We can't just tip top bip bop over there to Plactomic and tell those folks how to run their business because then we have to send the queen down there which is Nene to converse with uh Karen Huger okay and see what's going on all right we may have to do that in the future but right now both women are on vacation they're enjoying themselves they're trying to get their lives together and um we're gonna leave it at that and then we're gonna update them when they both come when the season starts back we're gonna update them both and, and, and let them decide what they want to do. And then we'll come to their, come back together collectively and see what we can do. See what we can do. Because right now it is looking kind of funny. It's, it's, it's kind of looking two-faced. 
that Kenya done took herself down now and, and, and playing fences and talking bad about the women in Real Housewives of Atlanta, especially Nene Leakes, okay? The OG. You give, you pay homage. You give uh, kudos, okay, for the OG that came on single-handedly, self-proclaimed herself as the queen. And she did that all in about four or five years, okay? Four or five seasons. <sighs> and Okay, okay, we're we just going to let it go in there. We're going to let it go. We're going to go back to the article, okay? Because I don't carry it too long. I don't carry it too long, okay? Oh, okay, we go back and says, uh, a person said, two extremely stunning, intelligent, strong women. See what I said? Someone had a message for Kenya. Thanks for taking the time to encourage my niece, Tiara, and try her product, Body Beauty, at the Expo in Detroit. You really made her day. Ooh, kudos for Kenya. Brightening and motivating. Okay, that's what she do. Okay, that's what we trained her to do. Great PR. All right, let's go back. We have one commenter wrote, I love both. Both are the stars of each franchise. Love women supporting other women. So special. Hardworking women at its finest. Okay, and then they have the emojis to fire. Okay, someone shared this wish. And may Lord Jesus be always with you and always leads us in all the ways of your life. Okay, okay, okay. A person praised Kenya's beauty and said, none of them come close to your beauty. I'm sure that's that's not news to you. <laughs> okay, we got to ask us right there. Okay, all, all right, because uh, uh, beauty is in the, uh, in the eye of the beholder. Let me get straight, let me get straight. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I'm thinking the creator. So everybody's beauty shines, okay? Whether it's that prolific shine that everybody wants to be like, or it's deemed right. This is what society, the model looking type woman, the one that has no imperfections. Who is that? Okay. All of us are all, are, all of us are perfect in our own ways. When you sit and get plastic work, uh, we call that, um, um, uh, hey, what I'm trying to say, uh, <sighs> cosmetic type Reinvigorating yourself, um, plastic surgery, that's when you're kind of sort of making your own creation. Especially if nothing was really wrong with you. You wouldn't like it in a car accident. You didn't get disfigured in some form or fashion, stuff like that. But you just want to do it because you want to make yourself look a little more uh, an aesthetic of pleasing. Then that's a choice, but it's not necessary. But if you're in Hollywood, you're in the entertainment field, they're going to always change who you are. Inside and out, that's a fact. Everybody can agree with that, all right? And then you still come up short because you still feel something bad about yourself. So ain't that a hot mess? Ooh, turn it around, Lord, turn it around. Okay, I just had to get that out. Uh, going back to the article, it says, Just the other day, Kenya gushed over her happy baby girl, Brooklyn Daly. Yes, yeah, she's a beautiful young girl. Full of life, full of life. Okay, moving on from that. Fans have always said that Bricky, also known as Cookie. That's good. I like the way Kenya did that. I always look happy and they simply adore this about her. Yes, Kenya is a very good mother, very uh, great provider. Uh, however, we do question her parenting skills at times, okay? And that's what we do over here at the, uh, the court, the castle, okay? That's what we do over here at the castle. We put you out. We expect you to do certain things. I mean, because look at uh, Meghan Markle over there just running a muck. Everybody's just coming down on her because she won't she won't conform. She would not conform. Now she knew this before she married uh Prince Harry. She knew it. But she over there just running a hot muck. Yes, yeah, she's not conforming. She's not playing by the rules. And they are telling Harry he must get her under control or she got to go. Okay? You can't act. Like you're queen material, princess material, you got to go, okay? And that's pretty much what we're telling Kenya. You got to be a good mother, a good wife, a good provider, or you got to go, okay? But you got to give us drama in the meantime. That's what she signed up for. That's what she's giving us on a daily basis, even when she's off the clock from the Real Housewives of Atlanta. She's doing her every day unapologetically, okay? And I would like the same freedom for myself. All right, to speak the truth, speak my truth, okay? May not be the truth, truth, in the eyes of society, but it's my truth, okay? All right. And pretty much that's all we had of that article, y'all. 
I enjoyed it. Hopefully, you all enjoyed it. Remember to keep subscribing, subscribing to me. Keep um, sharing my videos. And definitely, I'm tired of my own dog. Hold on. Okay, I shut the door. He's still coming through. But anyway, I'm through with this video anyway. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Uh, share my videos, like my videos, and definitely subscribe to my channel. And let's grow, grow, grow. Grow, grow, grow. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, because by grow, I can definitely get the money to buy this equipment that I really want. So I can be on, uh, what do you call it? Uh, and live with you all, where y'all can see my expressions, how I'm talking, how I'm throwing paper up in the air, because I just don't understand what's going out in these Georgia streets here and there, okay? But I wanted to be able to give you my visuals, as well as when I'm talking, and probably be able to um, do some sound bits here and there. That's what I'm gearing to, y'all. So continue to let my ch uh, channel grow, grow, grow. Keep subscribing to me, and definitely keep sharing my videos. All right? Peace out. Love y'all.